And welcome, everybody here on Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Sivir LeBlanc. Uh, let's play a Reputation deck. It's been a little while since we played a Reputation LeBlanc deck. I always think they're pretty fun. Of course, with the Reputation decks, we want to be dealing 5 damage with our units. So we're going to have cards like Glory Seeker, LeBlanc, Profiteer. This is a card I haven't really put in these decks before, but I, I like it. You know, like making a luck, you know, getting a lucky find, getting a buff. That's a pretty sweet. So we are playing Profiteer over Sand Spinner. Bakai Sand Spinner is the other option for that that four mana slot. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to play Profiteer. It's gonna be my first time really playing it. But while we have it, you know, that's something to be thinking about. Is this card better than Sand than Bakai Sand Spinner? You know, we'll have that in here. Got one copy of Kato the Arm. Kato can can really help with reputation because not only is it a five four. But then it also can support something else and give it plus three plus zero. So you can support like a house spider um, to give it the, the plus three plus zero and, you know, make it five power or something like that. You know, support like a merciless hunter. Um, so, you know, it can really help with the reputation there. And then Ruin Runner also. Um, as far as uh, removal goes, we got a, a good amount. Not only Reckoning, because we, we should have a bunch of five plus power allies, but we even have like a Siphoning Strike, which could be awesome. You know, Growing Sivir and LeBlanc with that plus two plus two but it both uh so we have that bloody business whirling death and all these ways are for our units to strike and they all help with reputation with having our five plus power allies strike um so the payoff once we do get reputation is going to be being able to draw multiple cards with whisper words for only two mana very good card draw and then black rose spy and this could be in particular, it could be a pretty sweet Black Rose Buy deck because we could, you know, have Profiteer with a lucky find, you know, maybe on a Sivir, give it another keyword, um, and then Black Rose Buy, and then copy the Sivir and, and things like that. Like, that could be pretty sweet for two mana. Um, other card, also a new Epic, Thrashing Snapper. Another way to turn on Reputation. If they block it, it gets the plus three, plus zero, so it's a five, one. Uh, whenever they block it, so that helps with reputation. All right, but let's get to it. Let's play some Sivir LeBlanc. Looks pretty sweet. We'll go play five games in ranked. Okay, so Rocket Tom Catch. So this is a hush deck. Okay, so this is a hush deck. They don't have like a lot of like instant speed interaction though. So actually I like Whirling Death Bloody Business. Like I like these cards. Um I'm gonna mulligan House Spider. I don't think House Spider does a lot for us for this matchup. We don't really need it as an early blocker or anything. But I do like these removal spells. Oh, reckoning is good. Reckoning can be real good. And so my plan with like mulliganing the house spiders, honestly, my plan was just to first two rounds, not play anything and just save up spell mana. There's always fighting eight punch Pablo. Um I'm going to take that card out though. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. Cut them apart. This card can get real annoying. I'm gonna make this trade. Yeah, I'm hoping this Reckoning, like in the late game, can just completely Reckoning their board. Hmm. Heroes go hungry. Wrap them up tight. So two mana, we're looking at Pill Cascade. Guiding Touch. I want to make the attack, of course, to help enable reputation, but then also help level up Sivir. Master the power of the stars. Master your healing. I'm trying, but they keep wandering off. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Hope only provides temporary sustenance, child. Not a bad card. I'll take it. I guess that worked out. Every step, a new 
journey. Can't quite kill that thing. It is me! I'm just saving the spell man instead of playing the thrashing snapper. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Hope only provides temporary sustenance, child. Gonna find a gift for an acting, right, Arda? Everyone conquers. By starlight. Oh, I love it. Take heart. Love it. They're not killing. Wow, I love it. Yeah, they're not killing the Sivir. I apologize to your parents. Hunt down. Nope, wrong card. So I know I could have used like Whirling Death and stuff right there, but I want to use the Siphoning Strike because I want to get this thing. I want to get that plus two, plus two while we can, right? Slow speed. Stop. We know that that's for sure working. I'm sure there's something. All right, that'll do. That will do. GG's. All right, one and O. Oh, that was pretty sweet. Very nice reckoning. But I like these decks that hit hard like this. Okay, this, this deck has been really tough to beat. Two of our losses today have been to this deck. Alright, we're going to keep one and three. Even though... I mean, we, we keep LeBlanc, but LeBlanc is weak to Avalanche, right? Like, this is a, a... Oh, man, this is really a hand that's weak to Avalanche. And they are an Avalanche deck. They... Whenever we play against this, they, they always have Frozen Thrall in round one. I need to complain because whenever I played it, I could only have Frozen Thrall in round one one time. <laughs> so I gotta complain about it. But man, it seems like that. Because Frozen Thrall in round one is exactly what you want. All right, so I didn't commit too much to you know to get Avalanche. You know they got a two for one, but it wasn't. It could have been worse for me. Because the best two cards for them to have are Frozen Thrall and Avalanche, so we know that that's what they're going to have. Because that's <laughs> I can never beat this deck. They always have the best cards they can have. Zero out of four with reputation. Back. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if this deck can possibly lose. <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. He's frozen through all players. That old trick again. Relax your knees. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. Okay, so got that out of their hand. Now 
Yeah, I'm hoping they don't have another Frostbite card now, right? Like with these Whirling Deaths. Yeah, I really hope they don't have another one. everything. They really had everything. Yeah, literally everything. That's unreal. And then, you know, obviously just um, perfect amount of damage to kill me. Two Frostbite cards, two Sweepers. You know, the perfect turn one Thrall, the Talia to get another one. I don't have anything to play. Shield. The plus zero plus two means they can't block with Dracborn. Yeah, it's gotta be Spell Shield. Look at that quality. Keep them from frostbiting this one. Submit to the cold. I guess I kind of have to save this. Actually, never mind. Yeah. Save Wow. They just have everything. Voices carry. Okay, yeah, so that just doesn't that doesn't work. Yeah, I guess GG's. Okay, so how do we do against Aurelia Azir? I could see us being too slow. We'll have to see. I like that reckoning. Reckoning could be good. So I think we just keep this, you know, one, two, three with reckoning. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like, right? That's it used to. That used to be Vlad, uh, Braum Vladimir. For me, that's like the opponent gets to just have the entire, like their entire collection of every possible card in, in the game, and just <laughs> choose. All right, what card do you need in this situation? All right, I got that in my hand. <laughs> that's what it feels like whenever I play against that Talia Lissandra deck. They always have round one Frozen Thrall. consider trading LeBlanc for a sparring student, considering we have another LeBlanc in hand. I 
I can't trade two ones. Reckoning now. Her reputation still at zero out of four. It's their third recall card. At least they don't get to replay uh, via zero right now. So yeah, these aren't too, too scary. Okay, so 6, 10, 15. Surprised to see me. I should go this way. You're all tied up. Shurima is send and sky, past and present. Shurima, your emperor has returned. So this would leave them with just one card. And dead Azir. Alright, I like Whirling Death. Whirling Death, cool. Reckoning's been clutch a couple of times. It's been pretty clutch. So Sivir's level bump. From old Mizuk, best kept secret in Shurima. Remember our ancestors and fight for those who came before us. Show sure. no weakness. Let's do some cool stuff. Eh, I guess fearsome. Already has quick attack. Is this a play or a summon? That is a summon. No, come on, let me get some more keywords. Lame. Another victory. <laughs> it's still pretty sweet though. <laughs> no, the deck I can never beat. All right, what are the odds that they do not have turn one frozen thrall? Is it zero percent? Or just like zero percent. I mean, I can honestly see kind of just keeping this whole hand. I really could. You know, like we have reputation enablers. Bloody business could be like a cool removal spell for stuff. I got like you know like this is a you know sure we don't play anything round one but you know we got two three four. It's like not our champions, but only one card dies to avalanche. Just a moment. 
No round one frozen thrall. Need to like record this or something. Can't believe this is happening. Ages pass, yet I remain. Heroes go hungry. So if I play Profiteer, I only have two extra mana. Well, Profiteer, pretty cool. Full of heavy purses and empty heads. Challenger would not be bad. You had your bets on an ice shard there. Yeah, you're playing a lot of expeditions right now, not like in the format. That's that's a good thing to do. Expeditions are fun, and and the lab legends is amazing as well. But yeah, lab the expeditions is definitely a good way to get better at the game. I guess we're going overwhelm. A plus one plus one is enticing. Don't touch it. It's not safe. Don't touch it. Foolish child. So All the avalanches. But we're still... You know, we got... We got five cards in hand, so do, so do they. We got a Sivir in play. That has Overwhelm. Don't have quick... Or don't have the Spell Shield anymore to save against... Uh, Frostbite cards. Leave your bags at the door. How's the market today, Karima? Full of heavy purses and empty heads. I already have spell shield. Or sorry, sorry, overwhelm. I already have overwhelm. I guess plus maybe plus two plus zero. With having that overwhelm. Didn't lose any relics on the ride over, did you? No, and I'm fine. Thanks for asking. Victory requires a sharp blade. For glory. All right, so twenty three, so. That's all right. So then, that's thirty. That's thirty-five. Yeah, I'll cut them apart. Face me. That's too bad. That was thirty-four. So, like, if it was, if I had one more damage, this, you know, the Sivir would have leveled up first, and then the Overwhelm would have happened and you know we would have killed our opponent uh, just one damage short 34 out of 35 um yeah let's go with this okay okay so they're able to get another 8 8 but i'm gonna be attacking You have to assume they're going to attack, right? Yeah, they attack. Cool. Here's your cut. All right, they go down to eight. So I'm doing this because I didn't have the mana to siphoning strike plus black rose spy, but we can we can whirling death and black rose spy. And get another sever. Yeah, 
yeah, a couple ice shards to kill themselves. Okay, close game. We actually won. They didn't have round one Frozen Thrall, right? So they were a little slower because they didn't... They had to wait for the Lissandra to, to bring a Frozen Thrall, so that's why we had that extra round to, uh, to pull out the victory. The oh, Twisted Fizz. Been a minute, so we played against Twisted Fizz. Alright, Mulligan, Mulligan. I guess I gotta just keep you and just play you as 2-mana 3-2. Just to have you on, on curve. All right, Soccer Girl says, I believe. Let's do it. Let's get a 4 1. It's been a minute since we've had a, a good winning record. We had the 3 2 last time. But, you know, a 4 1. That's strong. <laughs> I used to hate Twisted Fate Fizz. Now it's refreshing to face it. I am superior life form. Played five games today, three Trundle Lissandra, two Thresh Nasus. I miss it really, Azir. <laughs> yeah, those are definitely the, the top three right now. I'd have to say. I wouldn't mind trading two, two drops. I think I'm just going to do that. Because if I... If I challenge like this, then Twisted Fate red card messes me up pretty bad. So I'm just gonna challenge like this. Like I, I think that's that's perfectly fine trading the two drops. So that that uh, ballistic bot, you know, giving them all those spells every single round just gives them lots of spells, and that's not good. And speaking of not good, that's also probably not good. Probably not good. Humanity is obsolete. Nothing lost. It's just waiting to be found. Can you improve perfection? System upgrade. Make that attack. Really know why they just cast that spell right there. They didn't do anything for them. I'm not sure why they did. Are they gonna do 12 damage to me next round? I mean, I hope not. What time is it? Can you improve perfection? Fire will not be so I'm putting the uh, plus three plus zero in, in overwhelm on the merciless hunter because otherwise, like the merciless hunter was attacking for four, so like this gives me three strikes for reputation. So that's why I went Kato and this. So then you know because then now my reputation will be four out of four. So like this ricochet will cost three mana and so on. But yeah, I love taking the Ballistic Bot that's making the free spells. Man, all three suit-ups. Be surprised if we survive right here. I mean, they don't... They're, we're not dead immediately, right? Like, that's only ten. They have to have a spell. No, like elusive's not something that you can get off Profiteer, right? You can't get elusive, can't get anything else, so. Um, yeah, and this is slow speed, so I just have to play it right now. Because it's slow speed. Just gotta hope we hit, like, you know, these things.
Perfect. All right, not dead yet. But they get a lot of cards. They get they're drawing three cards. Um, no ally struck this round. I guess I'm just gonna go with the profiteer. Where are you at? You're at 31. For leveling out. Full of heavy purses and empty heads. Challenger? Business as usual. It doesn't really like necessarily kill them. No, because they just they just block the Kato and that doesn't kill them. How's the market today, Karima? Full of heavy purses and empty heads. So hopefully no mystic shots or get excited, right? No, that's not already not good. Last card they found. Uh, all right, well, good game of it. Turn one fizz, turn two pseudo. Didn't up. exactly happen. I guess they had ballistic bots and stuff first. But the fizz suit up was good. Darn. So Reckoning did look great. I think what I would probably want to do here is play that second copy of Reckoning. Because Reckoning, like honestly, like a, like a lot of those games, it looked very good. We saw the last game that we lost, we didn't have Reckoning. But it really performed well. And so I think I would maybe take out the Might. Um... Yeah, I think I'd take out the Might and just play another Reckoning instead. Yeah, that's that's what I kind of... That was the same thing. W. Jill says, I kind of want more Reckoning. That's That was my thinking there, too, is I kind of want more Reckoning. Might can end games and everything, but so can Reckoning. So that's what I do. One, one small little change. Let's take that Might out, get a second Reckoning in here. But I, I like having all these different fight spells... Profiteer was pretty cool. Was it better than Bakai Sand Spinner? Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, you know, that minus one, minus zero, getting the vulnerable, all that stuff, pretty sweet. Were the Lucky Finds better? Eh, maybe, maybe not. I would, I'll would. i keep with the prof Profiteer for now, but, um, you know, that's something to, to keep your eye out on. Yeah, so there we go. All right, so that's Sivir LeBlanc. Pretty cool little deck. And, and we saw, like, that last game you know, that we did lose, I just didn't have any fight spells, right? Like, I don't think I had any fight spells that last game with, with that Fizz deck, but yeah, just make one small change. This is this is a fun one that, again, fast games um, and uh, pretty powerful. So you get, like, some cool keyword stuff in here. You get, like, some, some different cool stuff in here. Like, Siphoning Strike is really fun to play. Uh, keyword, keyword stuff with Sivir can be really fun with, like, Profiteer, Sivir, um, all these fight spells, pretty fun. You get to be killing stuff. And then you get to make more copies of cool champions with Black Rose Spy, with LeBlanc's Mirror Image. All that's really fun, too. And then you even get, like, some Challenger stuff with Glory Seeker, Merciless Hunter. That's usually pretty fun. So, fun deck to play. Kato with the Big Overwhelm, also pretty fun. So lots of fun stuff here. All right, so that's going to be it here for Sivir LeBlanc. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoying these Shurima aggressive decks today. Um, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you think about these deck lists and you know, just other stuff you want to see on stream or anything like that. The comments always help out the channel. But thank you so much for watching some Sivir LeBlanc, and I'll see you for the next video.